Episode 1. Let's get it. If you click on this video, you're probably starting a mud team. It's one of my favorite game modes of all time. I love making coin and I love football and putting it together. It's, it's a lot of fun. Are you sure about that? Um, with everything going on right now, right now is a really good time to start a no money spent team. Everything before this was kind of a wash and then all the really good cards are starting to come out. With that being said, I, I want to start a no money spent team. I'm going to do the no money spent challenge, not buy any packs for the remainder of the year. And we'll, we'll just see how this team goes. Call me crazy. I don't know why I'm signing up for this excruciating pain, but let's jump right into it. Just so you guys know when this challenge was started, today is Monday, October 3rd, the day before Team of the Week. Uh, the Niners just beat the Rams on Monday Night Football. Bobby Wagner just laid out a fan in front of everybody. But yeah, but that's all besides the point. Here on this channel, I'm gonna help you guys navigate the mud world. I can give you perspective on things that would happen with packs, and then also the perspective of things that's gonna happen without packs. And even if you buy packs, still come back to this channel because I know those packs do not last that long. I know that. So if you're looking to make a god squad and you don't want to spend money i got you let's jump right in there it is guys 68 overall niners theme team starting from ground zero got a lot of work to do so let's move quickly all right now i want to be able to play online at a competitive level so the first thing that i need to do is get my team straight i need to get coins by any means possible and the only way to do that right now is to knock out the challenges all right so head over to the play tab go to challenges there's a ton of challenges and in these challenges there's going to be a lot of free players my goal is to knock all of these challenges out before i go to bed tonight and honestly for science i want to see how many coins i could get i want to see all the free players players that I can get all at the same time if I knock out all the challenges we're a little late in the year I know the top ends of the teams are like 90 overall right now again I'm at 68 and then also just before the end of the week like I, I really want to see how good I can get before legend Saturday so we'll see how things go it does look like I got some like welcome packs I don't think there's any value in there I'll go ahead and open those in just one second but there's also another set of challenges that have some secret packs and you'll find those by actually exiting mutt i think they're just gold cards um there might be some elites in there too i don't i don't really remember exactly um but if you go over to the learn to play tab and go over to the skills trainer all you do is you knock out every one of these challenges and you get 13 free packs i think they're just golds but we'll see we'll knock these out and then we'll open the packs we'll open those welcome packs and then go from there all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the skills trainer get all those free cards there i have a stopwatch and everything we'll keep track of how long it takes to do the skills trainer and then from there i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the challenges let's go ahead and get it started and time it took me almost four hours to do the skills trainer but it definitely would teach you a lot if you're brand new to mutt i'm gonna go ahead and open up the packs now to see what i get to see if it's worth it at all but right now with no coins any bit of coins can help so hopefully these packs hit but again make sure you go back and do the skill trainer anyway because madden 23 is different but i guess wish me luck uh and let's jump into our first pack opening of our no money spent squad Team of the week welcome pack with some strategy items. Uh, Campbell's Chunky Stadium. Oh, I, it was red. I thought it was an elite for a second. TG welcome pack. All right, so I get an 82 Justin Herbert. So I, I automatically don't have a terrible quarterback for challenges. And if you start in this later, you might get a better opening welcome pack or whatever. But we got an 82 quarterback. Gonna be a lot better than that 68. I tell you that much. Cool. So now we got our 13 gold plus players. These are 70 pluses. 70 plus is, you know, I mean, there's a plus for a reason. So hopefully we could pack something 85 plus. That would be huge if we could. Or even 80 plus would be nice just in general. Anyways, wish me luck. Seventy-three. I'm hoping to see a red animation at least. 70, Connor McDermott, okay. 71, Joe Giles. Ooh, and we get an elite. 81, Quentin Williams, instant upgrade to the team. Another 73. 
75 okay okay that's good coin value at least what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna sell all these and then probably buy some gold players uh for my theme team and at least for my theme team like some of the players will get boosts i don't know we'll see how it goes nope 72 i don't know how many i have left 71 Only one elite so far 71 70 and that's our final card all right so I, I mean you're not really guaranteed to even get that elite so it may not be worth it but i mean long story short i'm gonna hold on to these for now what i'd like to do is go back finish all the challenges i'm gonna try my best to get them all done before the end of this video so i'll be right back and hopefully my beard's the same length so just pay attention to my facial hair you know what i mean like i don't know like all right i'll catch you in a bit all right i'm back but don't laugh <laughs> i look weird okay don't laugh Psych, no, I'm trolling, but all right, I'm back. This is the team right here. This is the team that got us to beat all of the challenges. This 82 overall team right here. Seriously, it was a lot of challenges. And honestly, of course, when I finished more challenges come out, I actually finished this two days ago, but then Hispanic Heritage came out. So if you wanna know the exact time it took me, let's see. So in total, it took me about 90 hours. That wasn't me sitting there straight for 90 hours. I'm gonna be honest. That was just from the time I started to the time I stopped. But all in all, it took me about four days to complete all the challenges to get up to this point. So if you guys wanna challenge yourself, 90 hours, four or five days, or so to complete all the way up through hispanic heritage month and you'll be basically where i'm at right now but honestly that's way off of my goal of six hours i, th I really thought i was going to be able to do all these challenges i counted all in all that's over 450 challenges i was able to complete it all with just the free cards that i was able to get and i was able to get an 82 overall team with 500,000 coins now the best part about it is my team should not be an 82 after today i actually saved all the packs that i got from doing these challenges i'll give you guys some tips while we do this pack opening but i i made sure to save the fun part for you guys the viewers i nerfed myself and made sure i didn't open any of the packs so that you guys can have the the fun with me and we have some content for this video i would have had an easier time completing the challenges but that's okay i was able to complete the challenges with this team right here this 82 overall michael vick did it for me i've used a full michael vick and honestly like the sigs are the same and difference is he doesn't have set feet lead is what it feels like and he's just an 82 i was able to actually do good work with 79 andre reed 82 herman Moore, 84 oj howard like a lot of these cheap cards were cooking against the challenges and i had i actually had fun but yeah like i finished the challenges and then right when i finished uh the new uh hispanic heritage month cards came out so i'll also give you guys tips on how to max these out it was it was pretty quick these are going to be the best cards on my team because i haven't opened up those packs yet but we can actually pull some fire today is actually legend saturday Saturday. and legend saturday means new cards in the store i want to make sure i open the packs today rather than two days ago or yesterday when i finished the challenges so that way we can pull a rust grim potentially out of these packs now these 39 packs is a pretty good amount of packs i even saved my twitch drop so that's another thing if you guys open up a twitch account if you already have a twitch account and you link it and you watch when drops are enabled you'll be able to get these free packs a lot of times these are just gold cards but the gold cards add up so it's always good to have your twitch drops enabled it's a reasonable amount of packs here i don't know where i want to go first Let's see what this bnd overall conference player is hopefully it's alignment oh it's a see this is a this is another fantasy pack we'll come back to it the, there's actually several players in here that i need but we'll save that for last because if i could get my cards from other packs that are non-fantasy go that route so let's do this 78 plus we got a 78 makes sense these could be glitchy Seventy one, seventy five, 
So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep opening these, but let's just uh, jump right into some tips that help me complete the challenges. So some quick tips, always do them on hardest difficulty. Anything other than that, I personally believe it's a waste of time. In order to get all the challenges done, you're gonna need the star counts. Say you get one star every time if you do it on easy, you're gonna have to go back and do them again. So I, I personally just did them on hard. It may be a little bit more challenging, but really it's not that hard. And I I showed you, I did it with a, with a bad team. And there we go, that's a first good point. 85 Matt Stafford 37k that's right on training value or good coins so even out of these gold players we could pull a limited if we just you know like we have a lot of these packs that we could actually get something good right now if I pull a limited man I don't know what I'm gonna do all right next tip I did the legend solos first and the team of the week solos first a lot of the legends gave me cards quickest if that makes sense whereas like ultimate kickoff you have to do like 100 challenges before you get a free ultimate kickoff card so i was like let me do legends and team of the weeks first and that's how i built my team because you want the best cards for online play i felt like i was in absolutely no rush to build my team i could beat the challenges with the cards that i had and and that was just fine so as far as the challenges like i said i did team of the week first legends first that worked out just fine for me um out of all of them i hated the most was ultimate kickoff that one i did not like at all <laughs> um but it was fine it really wasn't that bad 83 nice it wasn't a 79 another tip while you're doing your challenges make sure that you're chewing the clock so if you double click r3 twice while you're on offense it'll select chew clock it cuts the challenge in half like i did a bunch of challenges without knowing about chew clock first way way faster oh that's the other thing i made sure every day to do my daily goals because it does give you xp season xp always make sure to do your dailies i pulled actually there's a couple times i pulled i think i pulled a 25k daily coin quick sale and then like a 15 pet David Edwards. All right, not bad. I this pro game day pack is probably supposed to be the best one left, I guess. I don't know. Gold, go, 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 bro. Go, 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 go. Where's the. I haven't seen a red animation or anything besides gold, bro. There's the first red. It's a low 80 again. <laughs> Ultimate kickoff. We get a Troy. Close. All right, next tip. So if the challenge doesn't say anything about like allowing a touchdown or yards, like if it's just like score two touchdowns, just go ahead and let them score when you're on defense after you score the first time. Like if it's just like go down and score two touchdowns and it says nothing about don't allow field goal or points or anything, go in field goal coverage, let the GPU throw a touchdown on you. That a lot quicker. 79 but i think the highest i've pulled so far is at 85 i mean it's not bad for free cards but i was hoping we could get a couple high elites let's see if there's like an 86 wow great I've, this has got to be awful look either that either that or all the season reward packs are like lesser odds i don't know Cause I would think I would have got one full something by now. So as far as like getting sacks and things like that, I have a good play for that. It helped me max out my Hispanic Heritage Month players. E3 Lyle, not bad. Dang man. So yeah, not anything good out of all those packs. So if I was buying those packs with my coins, it would have been a sad day for sure. A lot of good value, but that just makes me feel even better about doing this no money spent challenge because those packs.
all right we'll leave those last four i'll come back to that in just like all in all i got 500,000 coins games at 82 i didn't sell any of my cards so um you know we got the matt stafford i'll probably sell him here in a bit and then we got all these elite cards it's like a lot this is a pretty good amount of elite cards so you know we could just quickly count it up real quick uh 15 30 45 yeah so we're looking at if i was to sell everything in my binder i'm looking at like another 300k not too far off from being a millionaire just by completing the challenges oh i thought that pack opening was gonna be way better man all right so i wanted to give you some tips on how to finish Panic heritage month right away if you haven't done so already when you log in you should get your free ted hendrix make sure you put them on your team right away because it starts going in towards the challenges if you open up your missions tab go into this hispanic heritage tab it'll tell you what it takes to complete each player they're pretty simple i got them done pretty quick just by doing the challenges but after i finished the challenges i actually had some more to do i need fumbles interceptions and sacks so the best challenge for the hispanic heritage ones kiko alonzo the last one right here by having it being in the fourth quarter they go for it on fourth down and you have a lot more chances the sacks overstorm brave and out of nickel you shade the line away from the running back unless there's a tight end there and then user the end look how free i get it's super simple once i started doing that i got the sacks super fast if i don't get to the quarterback a lot of times these balls get thrown in exceptions or if they get caught i'm always in good position to get a fumble as far as just getting the the field goals you know you just go to zang gonzalez the cool thing about this first one is you do have to throw the ball a few times so that helps out your jim plunkett if you want to build up your jim plunkett 88 as well um cool and yeah i think that about does it for at least i guess episode one um Man, I really, really wanted to clutch. I really wanted to clutch. I had 30 plus packs, bro. I didn't clutch nothing fire. But the main goal is to help you guys out. I, I want to have fun. I want to have a really competitive team. I'm going to get some good cards on this squad. Um, but at the end of the day, if I'm not providing any value, I want to make sure I'm doing my job. We got a lot of work to do, boys. Let's get this series up and running. Make sure you like this video. It helps other people see the video. Yeah, man. Just, just hope you don't see me online, boy. I'll see you. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Repairs continue on the newest ally to the team, Android 16. And Cell is up to his old tricks again. Terrorizing.